humans, I'm Yo Schiller. Welcome back to some more Animal Crossing New Horizons. It is later in the day, but it is not as late as it was when I was recording yesterday. For as Isabel will explain in just a moment, it is only 5.47 p.m. right now as I am playing this game, but yesterday I played at 9 p.m. So at least I've made an effort to try and record this game earlier in the day than usual. I actually wanted to record in the morning, but because I recorded at 9 p.m. yesterday and then just had to work on stuff beyond that, that idea of working earlier in the morning just didn't happen. So instead, I'm recording not quite in the evening, but late in the afternoon. Anyway, here's the scoop. Today, I don't plan to play the Happy Home Paradise portion of this game. It's 5 47 p.m. on Tuesday, December 14, 2021. Oh, someone recently asked me for advice and I thought it'd be good. Oh, well that works out because that means either Gulliver or Gullivar is on my island today, which I want to assist because I am so close, so close to finally getting that oh so valuable gold shovel recipe from them because I can only get it from them. But I don't know how close I am until they actually just send it to me. I've definitely helped them at least 20 times, but I don't know how many more times I have to help them beyond that. Also, there's something, something with my Joy-Con. There's like a little crumb stuck right on the plus button. I got it. Okay, we're good. We're fine. All right, so first things first. I must tend to some daily activities. First, I must dig up this gyroid fragment. Boom! I got the gyroid fragment. Very good. So today, I plan to focus on various Nook Miles achievements and activities that I feel will help me clear some of them. So for example, if I learned five more recipes today, then I would be done with this Nook Miles achievement, right? And if I cooked 70 more items, I'd be done with this Nook Miles achievement, right? And if I dug up two more gyroid, they'd be done with this Miles, Nook Miles achievement, but I can only do so much about that. And if I uh, planted more stuff and sprouted more stuff, I'd be done with those Nook Miles achievements. So basically, I'm gonna try and knock out these Nook Miles achievements today. Then I will also move one step closer toward knocking out the Nook Miles achievements for Captain's Boat Tour, because I'll take a boat tour probably earlier in the video today. So this will be my 26th boat tour. This will be my 29th time going to the roost, and this will be my 34th time doing a stretch. So, we'll be good to go. All right, I must also check my mail. Let's check the mail. Here we go, boom. That is a very generous letter that you have sent me, Tybalt, but I must throw it away so as a save space. Okay. Very good. Now let's see where that goofball Gulliver or Gullivar has appeared on my island today. And I will take that, thank you. And you know what? You know what? I will dig this up. I know it's just a fossil, but I feel weird with it being right there. I don't know why. I just want it to be gone. All right, so Gulliver or Gullivar is somewhere washed up on my island. He is not appearing on the left side of my island, although I suppose he could be in the northwest portion over by my flower garden. There's a balloon. I'm probably not going to go out of my way to pop the balloon, but we'll see what I decide to do. Hmm. Anything up here? No. No, I'm not seeing him up here. No big deal. I can use this as an excuse to cut through the back portion of my island, and maybe along the way I'll see my villager Toby, because Toby is a villager that still needs to give me his photo, and the only way I could obtain his photo is if I give him enough gifts that will allow me to boost my friendship with him, and once my friendship has boosted enough times, there is a chance, but not a guarantee, that he'll send me his photo. So I have given him items for like the past three weeks, and he just refuses, simply refuses, to give me his photo. Well, Toby, I will track you down today, hopefully it will be quick, and I will hopefully get your photo once and for all. Of course he's not home, he couldn't make this easy for me. Which means I gotta track him down. Now yesterday, he was over on the right side of my island. I'm gonna dig this up real quickly too, just gonna dig up a bunch of these. There we go, there's another gyroid! Very good. I was hoping I'd find another gyroid. With any luck, I'll go to an island that's raining when I go on my captain boat tour, and that will just be another gyroid fragment while I'm there, or another gyroid while I'm there. That's a fossil, no worries. Okay, we will block that up, thanks. And then, oh, and then, there is this. What's the deal with this? That's another gyroid, yay! So does that mean I knocked out the Nook Mother for the gyroids? Wait, how many more do I need? I need one more? Now I gotta see, because I've been digging up gyroids. Gyroid getter. 
Not Miles. Gyroid Getter. One more! You know what? Knowing my luck, there will not be one more gyroid on this island. It's just not gonna happen. I dug up all the gyroids there are to dig up. It's only rained like twice on my island since I started planting gyroids. And this has been here forever. This has got to be a fossil. Yeah. All right. Well, at least exploring my island has allowed me to dig up some more gyroids. If I could find one more gyroid and knock out that achievement, that would be lovely. But alas, I just don't think that's going to happen. Well, unless there's like an X or something over here, and sometimes there is. I think I've dug up all the gyroids. I'm, oh, wait, no, there is an X right here. But it is a fossil. Okay. No worries. All right. Then my hunt to track down Toby continues, and I will do so whilst I carry this shovel in my bare hands. Toby, where you be? Oh wait, there's this. Hang on, what's the deal with this? It's the last inventory slot I have. Let's see, boom. It is gold armor shoes. I already know this recipe. I got it. Okay, hang on. Toby, you gotta work with me. Oh, I found Gullivar. Which doesn't do me much good because it needs to be Gulliver that sends me the gold shovel recipe in the mail, right? But at least I know where he is. So I'll come back to that in a moment. He seems fine. He's breathing, so nothing to worry about. Toby! You get dibs. Let me stop by the shop and see if you're there. I'm gonna stop inside there anyway so I can sell a couple of my other belongings now that I'm... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He's right here. Toby, mind if I grab a seat right next to you? You don't mind. I'm gonna take a photo right here. Boom. And then we're gonna do this. There you go. Alright, Toby. What's the deal? Well, if it isn't your Schiller, so glad to hear your voice. Let's chat. Ah, just look at that sky. Mother Nature always picks such on trend colors for the season. It is almost time for it to become nighttime. But, Toby, I, I need you. I wanna give you something, sir. Hey, what you up to, Ribbit? Let's talk. Something kind of weird happened at the beach earlier, your Schiller. I was doing research for my new line of sand-based skincare products when I came across a soggy heap. There was something familiar about it, or him, but I didn't get a close enough look, Ribbit. I was too busy looking around for cameras. I thought maybe it was all part of some big reality show prank, but I've never been that lucky. Isn't there a name for that? There's like a, a belief that you're constantly being filmed or you're constantly on a show. I mean, I think for a time people called it the Truman Disorder, but there's an actual name for, for it, I think. I don't know. But I want to give you an item, Toby, but it will not let me give it to you until you stand up. All right, let me see here. If I look back here, nothing I really need. Okay, let's sell stuff. I am offering. So that, that, that. Uh, no, 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 maybe I want to hang on to the gyroids. Uh, and then, and then the coffee, and then that, and then I don't need the explorer's hat, I guess. That'll do. The rest of the stuff sh can just go in storage. Boom, 835 bells for all those fossils. Now, had I gotten them assessed by blathers first, they'd be worth a lot more. But alas, I did not. I was, I have to go inside the museum anyway, too, and in about five minutes, blathers will actually be awake. But nope. I've just decided to sell them because I'm not in desperate need of bells at the moment. All right, all set. So next, we need to do the wrapping. Oh no, 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 no! Wrapping paper wrap, and we'll we'll wrap the. You know what? You know what you want? You want dreamy shelves, Toby? If you'll let me give it to you, I really want to give you this item, Toby. You just need to stand up. If I talk to you one more time, will you stand up? Or am I just going to spend the entire video on the bench right next to you? Because, Toby, you shouldn't test me on stuff like that. I'll freaking do it. If I stand behind you. Oh, we meet again. What's the latest? You know who's the real brains behind Aquanet? It? It's clearly Isabel. Can you imagine what this place would be like without her? Ugh, the whole island would be like my place on laundry day. Toby. Toby, look. I know maybe... You and I don't always get along because you're the newest villager on my island and you're the only villager I've kind of forced to move here because I had your amiibo card. And be I have your amiibo card because you're part of a Sanrio collection. But Toby, you're one of a fortunate few. Because you're part of a Sanrio collection, that means you're one of like six or seven characters in existence to only be part of that collection, which means you are lucky enough to be born special from the get-go. You are special to me, Toby. 
You live on my island like the other residents, but you're capable of things that not, they're not capable of. No, I'm not saying my other residents aren't special, but I'm saying you have access to things. You possess skills and traits and items in your household that my other villagers will never be able to do. But there is one thing, Toby, there is one thing I know you're capable of doing. You're a villager at the end of the day. And that means that when you and I become very good buddies, it means I will be able to obtain your photo. And Toby, understand this. I have been playing this game for an hour every single day for almost 409 days now. And one thing I want is to have a photo of each of my villagers so that I can showcase the accomplishments and connections I've made with each character in the game throughout my time here on Aquanet. If I just had your photo, I would be able to mark that accomplishment. It would be a signature from you, a signature item that only you can give me, and it would make a historic landmark of our friendship that I would have the luxury of hanging in my home's office. But only you have the power to give me your photo, Toby. I can't get your photo unless you give it to me. Now, I feel like I've been fair. I feel like I've been generous. I have been giving you items for the past 20 days. I designed you a dream house. I'm sitting with you on this bench right now as I yap my mouth off right into your big old bunny frog ears. I got you a nice prime location for your house, your neighbors with tie vault. You, I gave you a fence. I gave you some flowers. I feel as though I haven't bonked you on the head with a net too many times. And I've racked the items I've given to you. I went over to Harv's Island and asked the fortune teller if we were good buddies. And she was like, yeah, you are. But for some reason, for some reason, Toby, you have decided not to give me your photo. And I don't exactly know why. Did I do something wrong? You can be honest with me. Is there something you want? I am a little desperate. Is there something you want to tell me but can't? Am I coming off as harsh or manipulative? I don't know, Toby. I'm also convinced that there's not that many sips of coffee in your coffee. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do, Toby? I'm gonna come back here later and hope that at that point you finally stood up so I can give you an item. Okay, I thought eventually you would get up. But that didn't happen. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to help Gullivar. I'm going to help him get his item. And then after I do that, I will go ahead and move on into stretches. And then we'll go ahead and get some coffee. And then I'll focus on getting some other Nook Miles achievements. So we can do... Boop! There you go. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, 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 yes. You are a heavy sleeper, it seems. That's how you slept all the way here from your boat to my island. But hello, Gullivar! It's be me! Yes, it's your bestest matey, you Schiller! And I know the routine. We are over 400 days into this series. Didn't think I'd make it this far, but alas! Here we are! So, Gullivar, I know you well enough by now, or so I believe, to know that you have dropped your precious communicator somewhere in the ocean and then I have to go deep sea diving to get it. But fortunately, your communicator part is within close proximity to my island, and I can reach it within my island's boundaries. All right. It's been a couple days since I've gone deep sea diving, but I suppose that this is a good excuse. Actually, I went deep sea diving for some sort of ingredient for my for cooking, so I guess it hasn't been that long. But it's not something I do regularly anymore. But here we go. I've got my deep sea diving uniform on. Let me see, let me see. All right, Golivar. This... It's for you! Sorry, I scared that fish away. It'd be like that sometimes. Okay. Where? There's this. If this is your communicator part immediately, then great! I can immediately move on to the next task I wanted to do today. What is this? This is a scallop! Which means I can say hello to my good otter friend Pascal again. Hey Pascal, it has been some time. Would you like to join us today in our daily stretches? You'd be more than welcome. Since you were cool, I'll you something you'll dig. Yeah, 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 yeah. Backstroke, breaststroke, crawl stroke, easy. Luck stroke, genius stroke, and golf stroke. Not so much. Wrap your noodle around that. Yeah, different strokes are more difficult than each other. All right. Here we go. Let's go ahead and try this 
pack of bubbles. Although if this starts escaping from me, then it can't exactly be a communicator part now, can it? Well, let's see what it is. This is a crab. It is a Dungeness crab. Let's see what else we got. Come on, there can only be so many bubbles in the ocean, right? <laughs> Technically, that's true. There can only be so many bubbles in the ocean. There can only be so many bubbles in comparison to the volume of the ocean. But it's still a whole lot of bubbles that could appear in the ocean. To calculate that, you need to calculate the area and volume of the ocean, which I don't know at the top of my head, but someone's done the math. And then you figure the average size of a bubble. I don't know, you say like a one cubic inch for a bubble. And then you're like, all right, so if the ocean is, I, I don't know, 9,000 cubic inches, it's obviously bigger than that, then you can fit 9,000 bubbles. <laughs> That's how you do the math. Basic math. There you go. All right, let's see here. So we can go ahead and get this. Hopefully this is your communicator part. No, it is not. Dang it, Golovar, you've made this more difficult than it needed to be. But fortunately... I'm not going to Happy Home Paradise today. We're taking a break off of it. I will visit it in future days. There are still, ah, uh, hey, I see more bubbles back there, so I'm turning around. What do we got over here? What is the deal with this? Hey, 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 hey. What do you think you're doing right here? Hmm, this is, da -da 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 -da. That's his little communicator part. Don't worry, Gullivar. I've got it, and then in the morning you will presumably not send me a golden shovel recipe, and I will have to wait a future week for Golovar and not Golovar to wash up on my island, and then I will assist him, and then hopefully he'll finally, finally give me his gold shovel recipe before this iteration of my daily Animal Crossing New Horizons gameplay video series comes to a close. Okay, let's see what this is all about. Golovar, I'm a coming. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I got your communicator part, which means I won't be needing... Hang on. Wait, that's the wrong thing. I won't be needing... Da -da 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 this anymore! But ah! Alright, Gullivar, I'm coming. Here I come, here I come. Okay. Don't You don't gotta worry, you pretty little noggin. I got you. Yes, I have found it, Yar. There you go. Very good. Alright, that's it! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okie dokie. I thank you with all me hearts, matey. Yes, yes, yes. Happy to be of assistance. There you go. Good, 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 good. Alrighty. Cool. Alright, well, I've done a whole lot of nothing in this video, but I'm glad that I was able to assist you, Golovar. Now I must tend to my other daily tasks, and I need to see if Toby has stood up just yet. Toby, have you finished that coffee, sir? Please tell me you have. Uh. Nah, he's still just sitting here, dude. Alright, well maybe if I go inside someplace and come back out, he'll have moved. So let me go ahead and buy myself a coffee right now through the roost. And we'll see if any other lucky guests have decided to show up. Otherwise, I will just get my coffee from Brewster and then I'll move on into the daily stretching activity. And then I'll probably do the Captain Boat Tour right afterward. See what I can do with that. See what type of island I can go to. And then, we'll try to knock out a couple of Nook Miles achievements. Okie dokie. Hello, Brewster. Nobody else is in here, but I would love one coffee. Yes, sir. I will take that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oakley dokley. Good stuff. Thank you, Brewster. I really appreciate it. One step closer toward knocking out this Nook Miles achievement. Whoop! Thank you, sir. Good to go. Okay, so that's all set. I will gladly take that. Very good. Okay, let's head on out of here. And then, Toby, if I walk back outside and you're still sitting on that bench, I'm going to be a little upset because the hour has ticked over. Blathers is awake. I've gone inside of a building and reloaded stuff on my island, presumably. What would you be doing at 6.06 p.m. Under, under normal circumstances? Tell me you've stood up. Toby, Toby, 
I just want to give you an item. You're the one character I want to give an item to, and you won't let me do it. I either have to spend half an hour tracking you down, or I find you in five minutes, but it won't let me give you an item, Toby, because you're sitting down. Well, I'll force you to stand up. I'm taking my Joy-Cons out of my grip. There you go, okay. And then we gotta go ahead and stretch. Let's go, Toby. Do not sit back down immediately after this. Give me like five seconds to talk to you. All right, and then Golovar should join us. Toby's not even joining, but Pascal's joining us. Hey, this is the first time we've had Pascal join us. Okay, very fun, very fun. Let's go. Okay, so Pascal can join you. That's good to know. All right. What a fun group. Here you go, so arms up, upside down, upside down. Upside down. Why does it look like it's killing Pascal? Upside down. And then we're gonna twirl it on up. You spend your days swimming, Pascal. I feel like you'd be the most fit out of all of us. Twirl my arms up. And then twirl them on down. And then we're gonna tilt one way, center. Tilt back the other way, center. Tilt one way, center. And tilt back the other way, center. And then we're gonna have a twist and twist, and up, and up, and twist, and twist, and up, and up. And then we're gonna bend down one way, center, bend down the other way, center, bend down one way, center, and bend down the other way, center. And then we're gonna go in one direction, and Golovar will be slightly delayed, and then we'll go back the other direction, and Golovar will be slightly delayed. And then we'll go back the other direction, and Golovar will be slightly delayed. And then we'll go back the initial direction, and Golovar will be slightly delayed. And then we gotta jump a little bit. We gotta jump a little bit. And then this one, okay, now it's going. Hup, and hup, and hup, 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 hup. There we go. Okay, and then up, side, down. Everyone's back in sync. Up, side, down. Up, side, down. And last one. Up, side, down. Cool. Toby. Hopefully, this forcibly moved your bench so that you'll stand up for like five seconds so I can go speak to you. Let's see. Toby? Toby! Toby! Toby. My man. <sighs> okay. Up next, we're gonna go on the Gullivar boat tour. And we're gonna see what I can get from one of his boat rides. And following that, that'll likely determine what Nook Miles achievement I'll strive for next. So hello, Captain. I'm ready for that boat tour. Here we go. Let's see what lucky island I go to today. If it's raining, that means I can presumably get a gyroid immediately, but I'll take whatever. Thank you, Captain. It does not appear as though it's raining on this island, which means I won't be digging up a gyroid immediately, which means I won't be knocking out that Nook Miles achievement, but there could still be some other lucky stuff on this island. Nah, seems like a pretty general island, but it'd be like that sometimes. You gotta have enough general islands so you can appreciate the ones that are gimmicked. And it looks like the gyroid fragment I need immediately is right here. Very good. Well, hey, I guess this island has different flowers on it, ones that are not native to my own island. I don't quite need that. I'll tell you what, I'll dig up, or not dig up, I'll fish up this fish real quick, and then I'll get out of here. 
All right, so here we go. Boom. Let's try that. There you go. You see it. Wait. There it is. Boom. And right, what's the deal with this fish? It is a red snapper. Oh, that's a black bass, actually. That's not a red snapper. I don't know what I'm, I don't know what I'm thinking. This could be a new recipe. Oh, my pockets are actually full, huh? All right, well, then we'll swap it. We'll swap it with the coffee. Yeah, I littered on this island. Sorry, I didn't put my items away. I messed up. All right, what's in here? Okay, unglazed dish set. I already know it, so I don't need it. So we're gonna drop it, and then we're gonna fish up this fish, and then we're gonna go. All right, let's see what we got. Wait. Wait. There it is. What do we got, what do we got, what do we got? It is. That is a dab. I'll take it. Okay. Don't think there's anything else I would need. Let's go ahead and take that stone. And... Da -da 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 -da. Don't think there's anything else on this island I'm gonna need, right? Unless I need more coconuts. But my island has coconuts on it, so I guess that means I'm immediately ready to go back to my own island. Darn it. I guess while I'm also here, I can leave the seaweed. Bye, seaweed. Hopefully I didn't need that, but if I did, I'll go fish up some more or something. All right, Captain, I'm ready to go home. This island was not exactly the best use of my time, but at least it moves me one step closer toward knocking out the Nook Maw's achievement that requires me to take boat rides with you. And I get to hear your lovely song here and back, so let's go ahead and listen to it again! Thank you very much, Captain. I do enjoy the songs. All right, well, I did the Captain boat tour, I drank the coffee, I did the stretches, and let me guess, Toby's still just gonna be sitting down on that bench? Oh, Toby. Toby. I get that maybe you wanted to have a relaxing Tuesday, but I, I just need you to stand up so I can give you an item. That's it. That's it. No, he- Toby will sit here for the full hour if it can be helped, okay? Or if it can't be helped. So, uh, I have no choice but to let him stay there. Frick, man. Alright, well, I have room for one more item in my inventory. Let's dig up this fossil and then let's stop by my house and put some stuff away, okay? I mean, I've also got some trash. Hmm. I don't know. Let me stop by my house real quickly. I've got those gyroids in my pocket. Let's see if I can hang one up on my gyroid wall that is becoming the front wall of my house. And then, more Nook Miles achievements focus because I spent the first half of this video complaining about Toby. I could stand to do something else with my video. Okay. So, hang on. So, uh, face toward the wall. I need to make sure I pick a gyroid I haven't hung up yet. That looks different than the ones I have up on there already. But is it still a squeezoid? I don't know, like, I guess it looks different. What, what's, oh wait, no, it's not, because it looks the same as this, right? So that probably needs to be stored. So we'll try Tremoloid? That's definitely different. Yay! Yeah, woo! And then Drumoid was my other option. And Drumoid is the same as this one on the corner, right? So that will be stored. Okay, so Tremoloid is, is the way to go. All right, I got a bunch of different ones on here and I probably could fit more, but I think that I think that's plenty. I think I've got enough gyroids. They're taking over my house. Okay, so... We can we can put that in storage. We can put that in storage. We can put that in storage. And that... Oh yeah, I said I'd put the ceiling fan. I'd hang the ceiling fan. Okay, let me do that. But if I'm in my office for too long, I don't know, one of my villagers, PH or something, will bust into my house and ha ask to hang out, so... Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Gotta hurry with this. So if I press down on the D-pad, and then I press plus, 
I press plus again. And now I can put the ceiling fan in here! Yay! I don't have a ceiling fan in my room in real life because I don't really want one or need one, but I have one in this office. Very good. Okay, we're all set. Now I gotta get out of here before one of my guests shows up. All right. I'm not safe in the comfort of my own home anymore. I need to tell my villagers I'm not welcoming guests at the moment. Okay, okay, okay. So if I stand here, let's go. And then... And then, uh, Mermaid TR. Oh, that's what, that's what Pascal gave me. Well, we can put that in storage. We can do that. Storage. And that. Storage. And that. Storage. And this. Storage. And then we'll dig the gyroid fragment outside. Because that's what I'm supposed to do with it. Okay. All right. I did some stuff to my house. I, I hung up the ceiling fan and I didn't get interrupted by any of my villagers coming over. Although I wouldn't have minded if Toby wanted to come over, but I'm sure he wants to sit outside on that bench for five hours in the cold. All right. Yeah, I'm giving him a hard time because I'm trying to get his photo and he I wouldn't even be having a hard time with him right now If he just gave me his photo yesterday like I wanted him to but oh well Here we go. Go ahead and put that there Great done Okay All set Toby you still over here. Of course. Why would I expect anything different? Uh, okay Well, let's let's head over to my crops, huh? Because I've got Nook Miles achievements pertaining to planting and cooking the crops that I've got growing in the back of my island. So, in order for me to accomplish these tasks, I will have to essentially pluck these crops and then plant them in other locations, right? So let me see how many times I would need to do that. So, even though I keep looking at these Nook Miles achievements, I've just never bothered to remember the numbers that I was at. All right. So, writing a cookbook is learning five more cooking recipes. I guess that's not going to be accomplished today. Neither will Gyroid get her, but tomorrow... I don't know, maybe I'll knock out... But actually, that's a good point. One of my villagers is cooking something. I'll have to see which one it is. So, I can be one step closer on that, but otherwise... So, this is for planting stuff. If I plant two more veggies, we'll be set. So, boom. And boom. We'll take those. And then if I run over here for a sec and I find, like, an open space... Just a temporary one, yeah. So if I go, let's say, or I just get this, right? I have to actually make the holes for this. So I do boom, and then I do boom, plant one. And then if I do boom, and then I do boom, plant one. I should have another Nook Ball achievement. Yeah, baby! Moving right along, sprout out loud. So now I've accomplished something today. I am now a sustainable start. What's the next one at 100? Yeah, which means I got to do this 50 more times. So we're going to go ahead and put these away. They are not necessary. I don't actually need them. The other Nook Miles achievement is for actually plucking them, right? So let me let me look at that. So executive producer. Nothing feels quite like harvesting produce that you grew by the sweat of your brow. Now go enjoy the fruits of your labor and the pumpkins, carrots. So this is for plucking them, right? So if it's at 76 and I say, I don't know, I grab this here pumpkin, that should now put me at at least 77, right? That's what I want to double check because if it's just plucking them, I will pluck everything right now. It does. Well, guys, time to harvest all my crops. Here we go. Yes. Good. Taking everything. I might even get to 150 by the end of today. Golly gee. I don't know if I'll have enough pocket space to store it all. When that happens, I will go around and put a bunch of holes on my island, and I will plant all of them, and then <laughs> I will dig them all back up. But hopefully I'll have accomplished a Nook Miles achievement or two along the way. Boom. All right. Good. Good. Oh, look at all this. Look at that. Look at all these pumpkins. All these pumpkins. All right. Yes, that is oh so good. Okay, and this one. How am I doing on pocket space? Oh, we can we can store a little more. Yes, yes, yes. Good, good, good. And then I will cook everything. I will knock out a bunch of cooking achievements today if I can help it. Okay, so boom, boom. There you go. There you go. There you go. Nice. How are we doing on that achievement? I mean, I guess I'll know when it starts blinking. But I just want to see how long this is actually taking to see how doable this possibly is. We're at 139. Okay, so we'll be at 115 in just a moment. 
I believe the next one will be at 300 and then the one after that will be at 500. But if I do this across like 10 days, I'll knock out all these achievements. I just have to water this today so that all these crops grow in like two days from now. And that's why I'm doing this today. Because I figure if I go back to Happy Home Paradise tomorrow, that gives the crops another day to grow back in. So boom, boom. Any achievements yet? Yes, I got it. Very good. Let's see how we're doing. Executive produce er. There we go, we're at 150. Oh, the next one's at 500? That means the last one's gonna be at 1,000. Oh, that, or 2,000 even, that's too much. I might not be able to knock that out before this series comes to a close. Frick, they knew people like me were gonna find ways to cheese this. Well, I may as well still dig up, every, oh, my pockets are full. Okay, all right, hang on, hang on, hang on. Not a big deal, not a big deal. So next, we gotta dig a bunch of holes and plant a couple of them, only to dig them all back up after the fact. All right, so get ready, folks. This is the video where I dig a bunch of freaking holes. Okay, let's go. And then we do that. All right, and now I can do plant. Oh, if only the animation for this was a little faster. Really, what I should have done, this should have been a multiplayer video and I should have had my friends help me plant the holes. Like, they, they dig the holes while I plant the crops, and then I, we just all un unearth everything together. But alas, that's not going to be the case. I'm probably just going to have to go and sell a bunch of these veggies. Plant. There you go. Okay, and then we'll do boom. And then we do a boom. It's a process, it's a process that'll take place over the course of several days, but it's a Nook Ball achievement I would like to knock out before this iteration of my series is over. Okay. And then boom. Yeah, I didn't, I cleared one inventory slot, great. So I'll dig that one up. Okay. Hang on. Can I cook anything? Because if I can, that would be fantastic. All right, hello, Gullivar. You want to see what the Yosh is cooking? I'll show you. We got plenty of pumpkins. I don't know how many of my recipes require solely pumpkins and like nothing else, but I guess we'll see. Let's cook. Are there any recipes at all that I can cook at the moment? Uh, there are. I can make sugar and brown sugar. Uh, I've never made that before. Pumpkin soup. That's purely pumpkins? Oh, I'll make a- I'll make a bunch of those right now. But I'm about to run out of inventory, aren't I? Here we go. Boom. Oh, I guess I have room for more. Now the question is, does each pumpkin soup take up its own inventory space? Or does it just stack? Because if it stacks, no, each one takes up its own. Okay. Well, then we'll cook another one, but at least this will get me closer toward knocking out the mmm Miles achievement. I'm going to deal with that flower or okay after I cook another pumpkin thingy I will sell these I guess I gotta hang on to one right and then I can go and cook one more and then I'll go sell them And then I'll actually try to knock out cooking recipes that I haven't knocked out knocked out before so let's Put some stuff away. So boom. Uh, no, I don't even put all of those away. But we can put, like, just some pumpkins away, right? So we'll do that. Okay. Then, we'll go ahead and do this. Alrighty. Stonework kitchen. Cool. And then, we can make another one of those. Very good, very good, very good. Great. Alright, do I have anything else that requires pumpkins, but it's just something I haven't cooked before? Let's see. Oh, flat. Okay, so you need some flour. And to make the flour, I need wheat. So let me go get some wheat. And then I will go and sell stuff pretty much when I'm done with the video. Here we go, here we go, here we go. It's a process, but we're gonna take care of it. And then I'll dig all those up in due time. Alright, so this is- these are my sugar canes. The wheat should be these. So boom, boom, boom. Right, how much- how much wheat am I carrying? Just the three. Well, I can- I can take more than that. And go boom, boom. May as well take them all, right? Just take them all? No, 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 because then it's gonna take up more inventory slots. Okay, we're good. And then before I forget, I mean, I'll come back here and water stuff again. But before I forget, let me, uh, let me water these. There we go. And then let me water these. There we go. Okay, all set. I mean, I didn't water all of them, I acknowledge. I'll go back and water more stuff in due time, but for now, Let's go and cook. In fact, the whole point of me putting an oven over there was that it was closer to my crops. I'll go back and use the other oven in a, in a moment then. 
Okay, but for now, we need the flour. There we go, that counts as cooking one item, and then I'll use this to cook that pumpkin bagel or whatever, and that'll count as cooking a second item. So let's see what's now accessible to me. Yes, this. My pockets are too full, darn it. Okay, then I will have to drop more pumpkins. All right, let's try this again. There we go, very good. Yes, let's cook. And then we can make pumpkin bagel sandwich. I don't know that I would personally eat that, but I have it. There you go, I've now cooked it at least once. All right, let's put that in storage because it's my first time cooking it. I can put this away. All righty. I guess that's kind of why I like coming back down here because I've got my storage thingy right here. So now we can do pumpkin bagel sandwich. Put that away. Cool. What are my other options? Or are they just going to start requiring a bunch of fruit from now on? Let me see. So let's cook. Yes, yes, yes. So that was done. This requires mushrooms, which I do have. Oh, and then there's this, which just requires the flour. Pull apart bread. Yeah, that's easy. Go ahead and knock that out right now. Very good. Pull apart bread. Cool. Okay. Well, I guess I got to go put that in storage too. Then maybe I, well, I'm, I'm like hesitant to stop by the shop and sell my stuff. Let me just cook a few more things. So pull apart bread. Easy. Okay. What else we got? Just knocking these out. So let's cook. What else we got? What else we got? Uh, I've never made pumpkin curry before. Well, let's make it now. Now that we've got the pumpkins and the flour. So boom, pumpkin curry. Very good. Very simple. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I guess I could like drop more pumpkins here. There you go. Drop them. All right. What else we got? What else we got? Okay. What is it? 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 B -b 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 cooked that. Cooked that. What's this? Sea bass. I have to get a sea bass and a sauteed olive flounder. Well, and that required a red snapper, which I did not have. I made the cookie, the coconut oil. Okay. 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 Hang on. Hang on. Pretzels? I can make myself some pretzels. I'm making pretzels right now, and I'm going to put that over by the fast food area of my island. Look at those pretzels. Look Look at that. Look at how lovely that is. Okay, we're putting those over here. Give me this. Oh, man. Okay, hang on. Hang on a sec. Drop that for a moment. Pick up that cookie and put the pretzel. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Not the pumpkin soup. Place that item there. There you go, and then we'll take that. But then where does the cookie go, you might be wondering. Well, the cookie should probably go at the checkout counter, right? This is where you check out. So the cookie goes there. Cookie! Yes, okay. Good stuff. All right, I've got room to cook one more item, and then I'll proceed to go and sell my stuff finally. So let's see what my options are. Here we go, yes, yes, yes. Knocking out those achievements. Let's see, no, 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 no. I've cooked that. I've cooked that. All of yeah, so these all require me to have a specific type of fish. Clam chowder. Oh, you just need vanilla clams for that? I could dig those up. Except I would need three inventory spaces. But I could do that right now. Let's do that right now. So if I if I drop and drop and drop and then oh wait, no, I don't need, I don't need to show it off. Well, thank you, Golivar. I'm glad you like it. Okay, so we drop that there. Now I just got to find three manila, manila clams, which is nothing new. Done that plenty of times before. Got to look for a little steam coming out of my island. Let's see. Anything? This is usually a prime location to try and find manila clams is right here on the sand. But of course, now that I need them, they're not going to show up, right? Oh, wait, nope. There's one right there. Very good. Cool. All right, there's one. Very good, very good, very good. Okay. Let's check up here. And then I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Hmm. There's one right here. Barely saw it, but what's important is that I did see it. So that's clam number two. Good, 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 good. And then if I go down here. This ought to be da -da 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 -da. clam number three. Any second now. Right there. Perfect. Thank you. There's my three manila clams. I'll go ahead and cook this item real quickly. 
Very good, boom. Okay, and now we head on up here and we'll get cooking. Let's cook. Very good. Having this on the beach has its benefits. So we were trying to cook this. Great. Knock that out. Very good, very good. Okay, continue prepping. Anything else real quickly? Pumpkin pie. You need more flour. Can I make more flour? No, not at the moment. I'd have to go pluck more stuff. Okay, then let me empty my pockets. And when I say empty- Oh wait, wait, wait! There's a balloon! Golovar, watch out. Wrong item. I'm about to miss my chance because of that. Got it! Sorry if that almost hit you in the head, Golovar. Alright, let's see what this is. This, hopefully, is a new cooking recipe! I'm optimistic. What does this look like? Oh, no, I don't need that. I'm gonna go sell that in a moment. Okay, so I've got room for two more items. It'll be both these pumpkin soups. Oh, that's not what I wanted to pick up. It's not what I wanted to pick up. Put that back there. That is what I wanted to pick up. Okay. I'll be right back, Gullivar, to continue my cooking endeavors. And also, there's more crops right there, huh? I guess I could take, like... Oh, I can't. I, act I, I actually cannot. I've got no more room for anything. I always forget that I've got extra pumpkins down there. I've used up all that space. Okay, let's go sell some stuff. Did Toby ever stand up? Toby stood up. Toby, you're standing! Toby! This is for you! Can I please, moment of truth, get your photo! Please, Toby! Please! Please, dreamy shelves! Yeah, I brought that from Happy Home Paradise. I can't wait to find just the right spot. I can't let you walk away empty-handed. Here, you gotta take Toby's photo! Yes! Finally! Oh, Toby! Thank you so much! Oh, Toby! Toby! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you, Toby! Thank you so much! Oh! Ah! Ah! <laughs> okay. We are done. Let me go hang that up before I accidentally sell it, huh? Thank you, Toby! I never have to track you down for 30 minutes ever again! Uh, I guess my speech got through to him, huh? Oh man, oh man. Well now I gotta decide whether or not I want to spoil the fact that I got his photo on my thumbnail. I feel like I ought to. Just to be like, that's the video where I finally got his photo. Alright, you will go, hang on. I gotta customize. Wrong buttons, wrong buttons all the time. So we gotta switch to the wall. And then right there, right next to Celeste, we got Toby! Yeah! Finally! Frick, man! That's all of them. That's, that's the villagers that have been on my island for more than like a month. I know I also had one or two other villagers that didn't last here very long, but these are the ones that did last here long. And Celeste. And Audrey, because Picandra sent me her photo. But otherwise, look at all that! We got Charlize, and Mac, and Bertha, and everybody, Stu, and Toby. Very good. Finally. Ah, oh, I had to give him so much stuff for like three weeks. Longer, like four weeks. Oh, man. All right, let's get out of here before someone comes over. Ah, oh, I can finally cross that off my to-do list. I don't have to give him stuff anymore. That said, I am still gonna stop by the shop. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta sell all the stuff that's currently in my pockets. So, I will go ahead and do that real quickly. Thank you, Toby. Thank you so, so much. Alrighty. Very good, very good. Alright, here we go. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I want to sell, and I'm offering, ba -ba. uh, maybe I should hang on to the clam chowder, huh? Bum -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba, pumpkin soup, and this extra fossil, and then the carrot starts and the pumpkin sprout. And... I guess I could sell like the extra ten pumpkins. There you go! There you go! Yay! Ten! One zero! One one zero! Yay! Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I've got more bells. Oh, and I got Nook Miles, presumably for selling things? I did! Yay! Make it for the Nook Miles I spent on Captain's Boat Ride or something, I don't know, I'm not even super worried about that. I've got enough Nook Miles to help me knock out the Nook Miles achievement if I were to take a boat ride every single day. Okie dokie. So, with that said and done, let's get back to cooking. Let's, let's make some more flour 
cook a few extra things, and then I'll probably just abruptly end the video, and it will be great. Oh, man. Oh, okay. Here, I'll take those, and I'll take that, and I'll take that. Just pluck all of these. Just, just pluck them. Just take them. Take them. Okay. Alrighty. I'll take that. Okay. And then there is a fish there. I actually should try getting this fish in case it is a, a black, or, sorry, a sea bass or something. So let's see what we've got. Let's see what we've got. You see that? Oh, it's already on. All right, this might be, this might actually be a sea bass. Yeah, baby, let's get cooking. All right. Never been so excited to catch such a generic fish. That's not true. I was excited when I was trying to catch 5,000 fish, fish before day 365 and I freaking did it. All right, so some of my fishy items. One of these is sea bass and five clumps of weeds, but I've already cooked that before. Was there another thing that required sea bass? Red snapper? Perhaps not. Perhaps sea bass was not what I needed. I needed the other types of fish. Oh, sea bass pie. Okay, that, that is what I want. Okay, I need more wheat. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pick up my belongings. Should have enough space to do so. And then we're gonna start using the stove that's up by the crops of my island. Okay, very good. Very good, very good, very good. All right, so we're gonna head on up here and then I'll water those and dig those up in the future. Okay, I've got some more wheat. I see some sparkles. Great, I'll grab that and I'll grab this one too. All right, and then we'll climb up here. Oh, I had another inventory thing to use here the entire time. Well, whatever. Okay, so weed clumps, weed clumps, weed clumps, weed clumps, weed clumps. Okay, good. And this one too. Great. All right, we're all set on that front. So my compact kitchen right here, we will make flour, which counts as cooking one item. Very good, thank you. All right, to continue prepping. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to knock out that next Nook Miles achievement for cooking things today because I have to cook 100 items, which is crazy. It's too much, but I'll probably get to like 60 or 70 today. All right, there we go. What else we got? I made the sea bass pie, I've cooked the fish. We can now make this pumpkin pie. I've never made it before, huh? Well, then I'll make it now. Pumpkin pie. Very good. Thank you very much. Okay. Good, 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 good. Continue prepping. What else can I make? We can make, hmm. I mean, everything else is gonna require fruits, right? Or a fish. All the flounder. What is this? Tiger prawn. You gotta go deep sea diving for that. Mm, then we're not doing that today. Spaghetti. Wait, tomato puree. Okay, hang on. So this is just flour and tomato puree. Well, how do you make the tomato puree? Cause I feel like I've made that before. Carrot pottage, no, 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 no. Tomato. Where I, I, feel, I feel like it should be around here. Potato curry. Don't make me go alphabetical on you all. Pretzels. Do I not know how to make tomato puree? Hang on, spaghetti napolitan. Hang on. So, we're gonna go alphabetical, just to double check. Tomato curry, I guess I, oh wait, no, it's right there. Just three tomatoes, okay, great. Well, then I'll make that real quickly. Let me get some tomatoes. There we go. This is why it's good to have an oven right by my crops. And I gotta pluck some more stuff anyway. So we'll do boom, boom, and boom. Okay, how are we doing? We got six tomatoes. So I'll make the tomato puree, which will then allow me to make a few other things. So boom, here we are. Compact kitchen, yes please. It's like a little bit of a puzzle. Tomato puree, great. Awesome, very good, okay. Then continue prepping. And then now I can make this, the spaghetti Napolitan. Good. Another item knocked out. Great, now let's put some items in storage and let's cook like two or three more items and then we'll call it a day. So here we go, put something away. Good, 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 good. So that, 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 and that please. Very good. All right, what else do I wanna try to go for that doesn't require a fish or a deep sea creature? Let me see. I mean, I could just make more pumpkin related things if I really wanted to. Uh, potato pottage, that's just potatoes. I could go for that. Oh, maybe we should start doing, we should start doing the fruit things. No, maybe we should, ah. Uh, I mean, I could get two coconuts. Seafood, right, we said we're not doing that right now. 
Uh, and that's potatoes. And a veggie sandwich. And a mixed fruit sandwich. And I'd rather refrain from doing fruit related things. Oh, the mushrooms. We gotta get the mushrooms out. Let's go ahead and cook the mushroom item real quickly. All right, I said I would do that. I'm gonna do that. So, get something out. I've been storing these mushrooms since all well, they started sprouting in the fall. So, uh, one item is definitely called a rare mushroom. So if I go alphabetically and then I sort and then I find the rare mushroom and then go by series, I should be able to withdraw them all at the same time. So we're at the P section. Here we go. Here's the R, and then our C raincoat. There we go. Right there. Okay. So sort by type. Move to pockets. Move to pockets, move to pockets, move to pockets, move to pockets. My pockets are full! Oh. Darn it. Well, uh, oh, I guess I could put the weed clumps away. Guess I don't actually need those. Put something away. Weed clumps. Good. And this extra black bass, I guess. All right. Hang on, so I need the skinny mushrooms out, right? So, get something out. And then skinny mushrooms, please. All right, that should be every type of mushroom. So now I should be able to make that mushroom item, and then I can put all the mushrooms away afterward, right? So let's cook. Boom. And then, yes, championones al agio, I think, I don't know. All right, there you go. Go ahead and make me one of those. Thank you very much. Okay, now we can put the mushrooms away and then I'll go grab potatoes or something and then we'll cook one or two things that involve a potato. So put something away and then we can do boom, 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 boom. And then boom, I didn't need the round mushrooms. Okay, or I did, I, there was one type of mushroom I guess I didn't need, but I took it anyway, whatever. We're good. Okay, potatoes, potatoes. Yes, please, give me all those. Okay, and then how are we looking at how are we looking at my Nook Miles now? So if I go down to Miles, right, I'm at 46 out of 100. Great, that's gonna take a while. Well, we'll knock out a bunch of Nook Miles achievements soon and then Executive Producer, Sprout Out Loud. So, okay, 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 okay. I thought I was gonna be planting and digging up more things. I'll just have to do the same cycle a different day, but we can skip the part where I track down Toby. All right, let's cook. I got potatoes. Okay, boom. We can make some of that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Very good. All right. And then, maybe like one more item for good luck if I can. That doesn't require fruit. What's this? Potato pottage, but I need flour, which means I need one more piece of wheat. Okay, we'll get one more piece of wheat. Then I'll make the, the, the potato pottage and then we'll be good to go. All right, so boom. Thank you. Climb back up. All right. Walk back around this corner. Go ahead and use the combat kitchen and then cook one more thing. Very good, very good. All right. So we need flour. Cool. Getting that, getting that, getting that. Very good. All right, continue prepping. And then we need to go down to this potato pottage. Done. Excellent. Another check mark. Now that there's a Nook Miles achievement for creating each type of thing, but now I can say that I've done it. It's just like a little bit of a self-imposed challenge. Anyway, so that puts me at 49, right? Let me do one more, even if it's just something I've cooked already, like another pumpkin thing, just so I can be at 50. All right. I don't suppose there's anything else that's new. Not a problem. Pumpkin curry? No, I mean, let's, let's savor my resources a little bit. Actually, most of these do have check marks on them, which is a good sign. I'm at the mercy of finding specific types of fish in the water. Well, I guess I could always make more sugar. So let's go ahead and do that real quickly. All right, boom, extra sugar, great. Let's go pick up my supplies that I left down at the beach. Or if anything, let's leave all those supplies together or something. So they're all kind of in one convenient place. And then there's a balloon up there. I'm not really gonna go for it. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, did I pick up my stuff? I did pick up my stuff. So now I'm just carrying a bunch of things I don't really need. I'm carrying a lot of pumpkins. That's a lot of pumpkins. Okay, you know what I can do real quickly? Let's dig a couple more holes. So we do boom, we can do boom, we can do boom, and we can do boom, and then we can do plant, there you go, and then we can do plant, there you go, 
and then we can do plant, there you go, and then we can do plant, and there you go. And then I'm gonna dig all these back up, and then we're gonna go sell them. All right, so we're gonna do, whoop, and then we're gonna do, whoop. All right, and then two more, and then we'll sell stuff, and then we'll be done with today's video. So I know this video is a bit all over the place, I mean, <laughs> which my Animal Crossing videos typically aren't all over the place, but at least I finally got Toby's photo, I knocked out some Nook Miles achievements, and I grew all the more closer to knocking out even more achievements. So let's put one or two cooked items away. Okay, uh, that and that. Cool. I guess I can hang on to like one batch of green pumpkins and then sell the rest or something. So we'll hang on to the, uh, uh, no, 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 no. Hang on to the yellow and hang on to the greens. We're gonna go sell the rest. All right, and then just to organize this stuff, we'll put the sugar and the whole wheat all right beside each other, the flour. Great. We are going to go sell the rest. And I'll sell the ball catcher as well. Very good, yeah! And then tomorrow a gyroid will grow right in front of my house. Oh, actually, I guess before I go, let me go water the crops real quickly, like really, really quickly. Okay, I don't have to watch, I don't have to water every single individual tile. Oh, I should probably dig up a couple of these too. So we'll dig up that one. And then, I mean, I don't know, I guess I can like, leave them there and then next time when I go to pluck them all, I'll, I'll remove them. So we'll leave them alone for now. Alright, let me walk around with my little watering can. Ready? So we go over here and we go, Woo! I'm watering, I'm watering them. I'm watering them, but I don't think I got these ones on the, on the edge. There you go. Don't gotta get each individual one. Just gotta get a general, general vibe. Okay, there you go. There you go. And they'll go ahead and water these two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, you know what? I will take this carrot. And then we'll go ahead <laughs> and water these. Very good. And then we'll go ahead and water these. Very good. Sparkly, sparkly. In fact, how many t t tomatoes? I'm not holding any tomatoes. I am holding some tomatoes. Okay, then you know what? We're gonna take that one. <laughs> All right, and we'll take that one as well. Okay, and then we'll, we'll go ahead and water these. There you go. There you go. Okay, one step closer toward knocking out all these achievements. Now let's stop by the shop and get ready to end the video finally. If you decide, ah, oh, well there's a fish here. I'll take my chances. I'll take my chances with it real quickly. Let's go. And hoppa, this could be anything. But this time I don't want it to be a sea bass. Wait. Okay, it's on. Red snapper, perhaps? It feels like a sea bass. It's a sea bass. Well, I'll just have to go and sell you two. Then I'll move it to it. But yeah, I, I gotta have these videos focused on the Nook Miles achievements, but I thought it would make it more fun to spread them out throughout the series rather than having like 10 videos in a row where all I do is this. And I thought it would make things a little more strategic if I started to do a Nook Miles achievement like this now, that involved me growing crops, and then I spent the next two days or so doing more Happy Home Paradise stuff so the crops could grow in the background. So this was a planned choice to have at least today or tomorrow be a day where I don't do Happy Home Paradise stuff so I can make Nook Miles achievements easier for myself. It's all part of the game. All right, so I want to sell, and then I'm offering, so that, that, Sure, I'll sell the extra wheat. And then this one carrot. And then the ball catcher, and then that and that. And I guess I'm like selling everything, right? There you go. Just take it all, Timmy and Tommy. Good. And then 12,000 more bells. Okie dokie. That will do it. There. An accomplished day, and tomorrow I'll have a gyroid that will allow me to knock out a Nook Miles fragment. Or Nook Miles achievement, sorry. I will have a gyroid fragment that will grow into a fully bloomed gyroid, and once I pluck it, I will be done with the Nook Miles achievement that requires me to dig up gyroids. This one, right here. All right, and I won't have to track down Toby anymore. Woo! For now, that wraps up this video of Animal Crossing New Horizons, and I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope to see you all in future videos. Bye-bye, humans! Whoosh! Hey, thank you for watching my video. If you want to continue to support my content, the best thing you can do is like this video and subscribe to my channel. All you have to do is click the little buttons down below. Also, please be sure to follow me on Twitter to stay up to date with my video schedule. My tag is at RealYoShiller. I hope to see you all in future videos. Bye-bye. Whoosh.